Good afternoon everyone, it is Mitchell aka The Walker in Orlando and welcome back to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Um, I know I teased it in a video when we went to go see Fantasmic, but officially Christmas is here at Disney's Hollywood Studios and we're going to be checking everything out from decorations to a couple of treats and everything else. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel, leave a like and stick around because I can't find Belly Flopper. As soon as you enter Hollywood Studios, there is Christmas music playing, a decorations aplenty, and there's Daisy up on the railing right there with a scarf on in her holiday attire. My question is, where's Donald? Then as you look down Hollywood Boulevard, look at everything, look at all the garland, look at all the lights. That's gonna look really good at night. I don't know when we're gonna come over at night at some point, but what I do love is right here at the dark room, there's a little Santa hanging out on top right there. What I do love is that they put in these little like grassy areas, some sculptures. So you got a poodle with two of her little puppies. Also, Gertie has her Christmas hat back. Last year though, she did have a 50th medallion, but this year she doesn't. I can also tell you though, over here by Echo Lake, they don't have all the vintage signs they normally used to have up. They just have all, I don't I think this stuff's still coming back. I think they're not fully done with decorating, but the treats are here. And I think we're gonna try three things today. So, and then they've got their Christmas tree here. And I think they do have a lighting ceremony for it. So I think I'm gonna try, so there's three things I wanna try. I wanna try the red velvet whoop cake over at the Back Backlot Express. Then I think I'm gonna go over to Pizza Rizzo and get the sugar cookie or the snowman sugar cookie, melted sugar man snowman cookie. And then maybe get the thing over at, get at Toy Story Land. So we'll see what we can get. I'm kind of interested to see if I can get everything I want. So we'll see. First we're gonna start with the Backlot Express, get the whoop cake over there. All right, so at the Backlot Express, I got the red velvet whoopie pie. And I wasn't gonna get this, but this sounded really good. This is a salted caramel hot cocoa, frozen hot cocoa. And I've already had a sip of this. It's really good. All right, so, so this is the hot, the frozen hot chocolate. It's really good. Like, sometimes a frozen hot chocolate can be very like watery and stuff like that but the caramel in this really comes through but they also put um uh chocolate sauce hershey's chocolate sauce on it and then there are these mini marshmallows right on top you can have as well time for the whoopie pie mm. the pie itself like the like the actual thing itself it's really good the filling, I forgot it was peppermint, so I forgot about that, so I wasn't like, fully expecting that. But it's really light, it's really good. I think the peppermint throws it off a little bit. I think if it had just been just plain vanilla, I think it would have been better. Whoopie pie, didn't finish it all. I ended up eating maybe three quarters of it. Um, out of 10, probably five or six. I had really high hopes for it. I had really high hopes for it. Just kind of, one, it was too big. Secondly, I think the filling may, could have just been, I think they would have been fine with just like a cream cheese filling or even just vanilla filling. Um, the cake itself was very good, so. But this frozen hot chocolate car salted caramel, 10 out of 10. I 100% really, really like this a lot. So, I recommend getting this if you're gonna be here, especially on a really hot day. As we all know, Florida is still gonna be hot even in November. So interested to know is that the salted caramel frozen hot chocolate does come in a alcoholic version which has cherry bourbon in it. So that's kind of your style. That is here as well at the Backlot Express. I didn't really say where it was. Backlot Express has the whoopee cushion, whoopee pie, whoopee cushion, and the frozen hot chocolate. So frozen hot chocolate, 100% recommend. I mean, I sucked that sucker down so fast. It was so good. All right, so now down into the Grand Avenue area, all their light poles are nice and decorated. They got their garland on this area as well. I do know Galaxy's Edge 
no Christmas stuff, so just we're gonna avoid that all together. But I want to come over here because apparently the Muppets have gone have gone crazy with their decorating. So if you come in here into where Muppet Vision 3D is, so they got the same kind of garland here as well, but off to the left hand side of Muppet's Vision are these two very colorful trees in you got a nice red one and a nice yellow one. Like both of these actually a lot. So our second treats will be over here at Pizza Rizzo and I probably won't eat anything more after this because my uh, stomach, I'm a little full already. I kind of wanted something real to eat, but I kind of wanted just a sugar cookie. Just give me enough energy to get through the rest of this and get out of here. So it looks like my food, my, my, my uh, order is ready. And here at Pizza Rizzo they have the melted snowman sugar cookie. So it's a white chocolate top with a marshmallow with a dark chocolate hat and milk chocolate twigs on the sides. So kind of an awkward angle, so just so, like I say, got a little sugar cookie right here. Give it a try. I mean, what's it really miss? It's a sugar cookie with icing on top. I think it's really cute though. I do like it. It's not like full sugar cookie, but I like it. All right, so the snowman, or the melted snowman sugar cookie, which was five, like $4.50, very good. Um, we'll tell you, I probably had just a little bit too much sugar now because by the time I got done with that, my stomach's starting to hurt a little bit. So maybe let's find some water, find something maybe salty. But I liked it. I think maybe it's a good seven or eight out of 10. We'll say seven and a half out of 10. Wasn't like the best thing ever, but it was really good. And just the over design was just so cute. Well, you would think with Christmas literally now upon us, the Christmas shop here at Hollywood Studios, which is right past Pizza Rizzo, would be reopened. But as you can see by the very big sign, sorry, we are closed. You mean to visit, they need to visit Celebrity 5 and 10 for select seasonal merch. Oh well. Well, it took a quick shortcut through Galaxy's Edge to get over here to Toy Story Land to look at all the stuff here. The one thing I am curious to know, has Swirling Saucer brought back the Christmas music overlay that they did in 2019? Oh, they even brought back the alien Christmas baubles as well. Oh, they even had the extra one that's over there. That's my favorite one because his face just looks so happy to be here. That's my face. When that's not gonna be my face as we're sailing off on our cruise in December. And then across the way, over by where Toys, by where Woody's lunchbox is, Ham the sugar cookie is back as well. That's really sad. He wasn't. None of the Christmas decorations came up last year, so the fact they're all back this year makes me feel even more happy. And as I had hoped, the Christmas music overlay to Alien Swirling Saucer has returned. So that just means me and Kaylee need to come out here. We need to give it a ride. See if we can get a Christmas song. If we do all that, wait in line, and don't get a Christmas song, I would be very upset. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. Woody and Jesse are meeting in Toy Story Land again. Oh, look at Woody's vest. Woody's vest is amazing. Oh, even Jesse's vest. Look at their vest. That is so cute. Jesse's got like a little green vest with peppermints on it, and Woody's got a candy cane in his little gun holster and a red vest with trees on it. Love that. Also you have Buzz Lightyear with the Santa hat as well. Also Buzz is being again. It's really cool to see that. Also if you want to have a little update on Trixie's Roundup Barbecue, there's a sign out here, scaffolding's up. It's moving along very steadily. I'm kind of excited. I kind of hope it's really good barbecue. Also Woody at the Toy Story Land sign has his scarf and his garland, all nice and dressed up for Toy Story Land. Just kind of hoping um, maybe he would have his sweater on this one, but you know what? It's all good. So kind of like the comment I made in the Magic Kingdom video, at the fact that everything is nice and decorated, and especially like Toy Story Land having all its decorations back, really makes it feel like that we are back to official normal. Because like I said, last year this time, we were still kind of dealing with the mask mandate, of when you were inside you had to wear it. They weren't doing everything, including the parties over at 
Magic Kingdom, but today everything feels like it's back to normal a little bit. So I do just love coming up and I love the trees on the lamp posts right here. These are some of my favorites. And also something they've added, and I don't know if they'll come out today, but I think they have an acapella group that comes out and sings Christmas songs as well. So that I'm kind of, I kind of like to see that. I don't know when that might be, but you can usually tell because they have this blocked off and normally you can go up there and take photos and stuff. So what I also really, really like is you can't see it right now. You kind of see the wires, but at night, this whole like bushy area completely lights up and this is such a cool area to see and everything. It's just so nice. I do love, like, even though you can't meet them, I kind of like the little, like, interaction they kind of do there where they're kind of playing around and enjoying things. They're like, they both had presents and then they started throwing snowballs at each other. So, I kind of like that because it's a little more, like, fun. It's kind of like who Chippendale are. So, now we're gonna head to Sunset Boulevard, check out stuff up there. Then we'll probably go in and look for any, uh, sort of Christmas merchandise, see if there's any brand new stuff since last time I went to, uh, Magic Kingdom. And then I think we'll call it a trip. So, as you see on Sunset Boulevard, the uh, stars are back out. And like I said, down Sunset Boulevard, you do have Sunset's Greetings, which is the projection show they put onto the Tower of Terror every year. And I'm really excited, it is coming back. I don't know when, I think it may be tonight starting, but it'll be something cool. I think it'll come back for sure, though, because I've already seen it and I've shown a video, I'll put it in the corner, hopefully I did earlier in the day. Oh my god, check it out. Check out the Pixar keychains. Look at the like Nutcracker aliens. Look at Doc with a candy cane. And then Nutcracker Sully. They're really, really cool. $20. And then they've got the cool spirit jersey as well, where they're like wreaths. So Mike Wazowski's on the front. And then you've got. I don't know why this is so controversial, but you got Bo Peep, Buzz Lightyear, Eve, Mike, uh, looks like Up, Boo, and Ham. Alright, so we're going to head into another guest shop to see if there's any Christmas stuff. Also, I am curious because this is where like the Carthay Mickey's like trip uh, shop is. But in years past, they've had Santa meeting in here. But it doesn't look like Santa will be meeting in here this year. So the only place to meet Santa at the Disney parks will be at Disney Springs. So check out this new Dooney and Park handbag, which is almost $300. But it's got Mickey and Minnie on the front here. Just really cute little bag. All right, trying to heat up to Keystone Clothers because this is where the Star Wars and Marvel merchandise is, and I want to see if they've got any uh, holiday stuff. And then you've got this Star Wars wreath as well with like Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, Ewok, R2, C-3PO, some candy canes, some Jedi, some Sith logos. We like that a lot. And then they got a blue milk and cookie set with the Ewoks. This is up to snow good for the holidays. $30. It's not too bad actually. Also, you see the bottles designed differently. Echo Lake. One of the coolest things are the floating bobbles. And they do light up at night. And I'm glad they are back out. And I think they do a tree lighting ceremony. I think I talked about this already. I feel like I've already talked about this. So, But be cool. We're going to have to come out one evening to check it all out. Alright, quick stop into Celebrity 5 and 10. For one more quick look at any new merchandise that I may have missed. So there are a couple things I did miss when I went to Magic Kingdom are these cookie cutters. Got a Mickey, Chris, uh, Christmas present, a mini tree, star, candy cane, gingerbread Mickey. Also, this like, like, I don't know, martini glass? $15 for that. And they have the seasonal greeting glass set of four. 
You can see right there on the side. Pluto, Goofy, Mickey, and Minnie. And this is $40 for that. Well then, they've got a milk and cookie set for Santa as well with a straw in a cup with treats for Santa with him with the Pluto on it. And that is $30 for that. All right, so because my stomach's turned to hurt a little bit and we've kind of seen all the Christmas stuff, I'm going to call it a trip from Disney's Hollywood Studios and all the Christmas which has arrived here. The only thing I did not get to see are the two popcorn buckets. They have a Toy Story a Happy Holidays popcorn bucket and they have the musical box popcorn spot bucket which I didn't see either one of those here though I wasn't really looking for those I was just looking to look around eat a couple treats I did not realize how much those treats were gonna be and like how much was gonna hurt my stomach so but overall it's fantastic Christmas has officially arrived here at Disney's Hollywood Studios so with all that being said I do head out from Hollywood and Christmas time I will see y'all next time